so do we understand so there was one way in which when i placed the third layer it was over the void as it is presently and when i placed the fourth layer the fourth layer is over the first layer so this is a b c a okay it is a b c a and if i had shifted it one place like that then it would have become ab 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 fine fine so the, these are the two kinds of packings that that are found fine now now when we had placed the second layer over the first when we had placed the second layer over the first i am talking about this about this this was the second layer fine so let us try to think about this void which void there there are two voids this is a void this is a void below which this is a void below which below which i can see the box through fine fine this is a void below which i cannot see the box fine now what happens if you go inside this void right this is a void which is made like that there is there is one here and there are three above this hold this there is there is one here there is one here and three above this okay now what happens what happens in this kind of a void is is if if you are there and i connect you to these to the center of the spheres we understand that if you are inside and i connect you to the center of these spheres you will form a tetrahedron do you understand what a tetrahedron is no if you are inside this void and you i connect you i connect you to the center of the spheres what you will get is a tetrahedron let me show you what a tetrahedron is see what happens i am in this void and above me there are three right above me there are three 1 2 3 and below me there is one so what happens if i th this is the void this is void v if i connect to the to the center of the sphere that is below me it is something like this do we get that if i connect to one of the circles they are they are in a triangle right so one of the circles like this another circle is like this this is going away from me and another circle is like this so so they are forming a an equilateral triangle do you, do you understand what i have drawn no it is something like this okay and this is something like this they they are actually vertical fine right? or or i can say that it is this is the front one these two are the rear ones this is my equilateral triangle this is an equilateral triangle that is being formed and the other one is this 1 2 3 4 okay and what is a tetrahedron exactly what is a tetrahedron if i place my center here 
and with this radius I draw a sphere that radius will touch all the four points ok that sphere will touch all the four points so this is a tetrahedron and hence this void is called a tetrahedral void now the other void that you can see is something different is something you know it, it's like what can you see this there is a triangle like that there is a triangle like that so so uh, so what happens there's a I, i'm talking about this let me remove this look at these so there is a triangle like that i'll draw that on this copy so there is a triangle like that fine if i put these above these above what they have formed a triangle like that do we see that do we see that let me pick it up like this there's a triangle above it show sure. like this i have picked it up pay attention pay attention on this it forms a triangle like this above this when i put it i get a triangle like this you get the point now what happens so so i have got a triangle here above this i have got a triangle like that and they are one above the other fine they are one above the other so i have got a triangle like this above which i have got a triangle like this do we get that now what happens now what happens if i try to draw it here so 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 say i i, I say that there's a triangle out here like that and at the end of it here here wherever wait 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 so there is a triangle like this and then there is a triangle like this now what happens if i connect this i get one surface you understand i connect these i get other surface i connect these i get other surface i connect these not very clear not clear is it clear it will form six faces here it will form six faces here that let me pick this let me pick it like that and let me put three of them like this like this it is something like this okay something like this now you you pull it like this fine and what we do we pull it like this and what we do we try to connect we try to connect we try to connect what with what this with this and this with this one with two above again this one with two remaining above and one with two above so how how, how many faces due to this three similarly if you do the same with this there'll be three more six then there is a top and then there is a bottom how many surfaces in total eight so that will make it an octahedron so these voids are called octahedral voids okay so they are called octahedral voids now let us count the number of the voids
fine this is just to pack them maybe I do it like that okay so so how many tetrahedral and how many octahedral voids You can see, you can see. Can you count the number of tetrahedral and the octahedral voids in this? In, in any any of the row, in any of the row. Hmm? No, no. Let me let me complete this first. Hmm. Hmm. In this row, how many tetrahedral and octahedral voids can you see? Shruti? Four tetrahedral. How many? Four tetrahedral. In this? Four. And how many octahedral? Or, or, or on one one of these layers, how many tetrahedral and how many octahedral you can see? See, one, two, three, four. Fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. And how about the octahedral? How many? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about octahedral? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Both of them are equal. Hmm? How many tetrahedral, how many octahedral, when you are using n number of spheres? They, have, they, they must be using n number of spheres, right? The, the spheres are n, okay? So what is the number of tetrahedral and octahedral voids that you generate? something like that how how many spheres have you been using 18 how 18 How many now? Like ah, obviously. Because it will not form without the first layer, no? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, and how many octa? 2, 3, 4, 4, 
Due to the shifting, some tetrahedral voids are becoming octahedral, some octa are becoming tetra. I'll have to paste them somehow. I'll have to paste them somehow. No, you tell me the relationship between the tetra and octa. Are they the same number or are they different? Hmm? How, how, how? You count and tell. You forget how many spheres we are using right now, but you just tell me that. What is the relationship between the tetra and the octa? How many are tetra? Is it tetra octa? No, you don't. Three, four, five, six, seven. Idhar pe. One, two. No. One, two. This diagram I should tell you better. Here what is happening in, in a given row, in a given row you check, there's, there's a tetra, 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 tetra like that, no? So, so tetra is the same so that octa is double taken and then removed. Because there is a tetrahedral void below this also. No, but, but for that I will have to put the third layer. No, no, no. You can see it in the second. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, there is a this and there is a this. So one, two, two, one, one here, and ye ulta hua hai, jo dhag gaya. Hmm. Yeah, na? One, two, three, four. Ye, ye, ye ball bhi hai. One, kahan gaya? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, where is it? This one, nine, ten. And here it is one, two, three, four, five. This would have been the fifth. Okay? This would have been the fifth. So for every ten, there is five. Now, what does that mean? What is that? How many spheres you are using to get that? That becomes at times ticklish. Why? Because there are ends there. Right? So if you make it a large one, then you'll understand because with relation to the number of spheres, the voids start becoming more. Otherwise, what happens? We 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 do not know whether to count this as a as a sphere or or, or not. Fine. So you'll find that if there are n number of spheres that you're using, your tetrahedral voids will become 2n and your octahedral voids will become only n. Now that helps us in computing the density at many times because if there are some cations or anions hidden in the octahedral voids, they will be half the number of, of the total number, uh, they will be equal to the number of the total spheres and if they are in the tetrahedral voids, they will be twice the number, fine. So that will lead to differences in densities if we compute. Red one. 